y'all and welcome or welcome back to my channel i am tara if you're new here today's video is all about valentine's day we just hit the month of february it's not only black history month but it's love month as y'all can see i have the pink beret on for the season so i put together some valentine's day outfits that you can easily duplicate with items that you probably already have in your closet these are good for date night galentine's girls night whatever you have going on these outfits are going to come in handy so if you need some valentine's day outfit inspo or outfit ideas keep watching the video before we jump all the way into the video let's start with a few semantics so if you're new here and you haven't hit that subscribe button go ahead and hit that subscribe button i create fashion beauty and lifestyle content mostly fashion right now so if you're into that type of thing you're a mid-size girly or you're just looking for some outfit inspo then make sure you hit that subscribe button or if you're a little skeptical you don't know about it yet stick around to the end of this video see if you like my vibe and then hit the subscribe button i recently hit a big milestone of hitting 100 subscribers so we're working toward the next milestone which is 250 subscribers we're getting there quickly and then i'll go live again so excited to have you all here and grow this community on youtube okay so let's start with the outfits i'm gonna start with pink and red outfits because pink and red have always been the colors of valentine's day we're gonna start with outfits that have those colors in them so let's jump into the first one very very simple blazer jean combo most ladies should have some type of blazer and a pair of good jeans in their closet if you do you won't have any problem putting this outfit together i am pairing a pink blazer that i got from h&m with just a pair of wide leg jeans and some white boots keeping the accessories very simple this is probably about as basic as you can get when it comes to a date night outfit a t-shirt and jeans as your base and then a blazer you don't want to overcomplicate things if you don't have a bright color blazer in your wardrobe you can always go for a more muted tone like a tan a cream or an off-white if you don't have those colors black will always do but any blazer and jean combo is gonna work great let's see how I put it all together we're starting off with a simple base just any white tank top you have we should all have a white tank top in our wardrobe and then a pair of loose fitting kind of wide leg jeans now these aren't the most wide leg jeans but you want some that have a little bit of flair to them so for shoes i'm going for a white point toe booty if you don't have white shoes this is the perfect time to, to throw on a nude heel or even a clear acrylic heel you just want something really neutral to not take away from the pop of color we're going to bring with the blazer so our main layer is going to be this blazer from H&M is in this very beautiful bright pink color getting into the spirit of Valentine's Day it is a little bit oversized but I don't mind that for me you could also wear this button up if you wanted to and have a little cleavage moment but I'm going to keep mine unbuttoned let's add some accessories so for accessories i'm just going to put on a pair of kind of gold neutral shades and then i'm going to do my white fluffy bag y'all know i wear this bag all the time it's giving spring in the winter i know we're all ready for spring and warmer weather so this is the perfect way to bring in spring a little bit early i know everyone is not into the distressed jeans anymore i don't mind but if you're not into the whole distressed look then definitely go with jeans that are not distressed i feel like most of us have these items in our closet already if you don't have a blazer in like a pink or a red color you can always go for a more neutral blazer like a white or a cream and if you don't have that you can never go wrong with black it'll still work for a valentine's day look and this will work for date night or going out for galentine's i feel like if you're just going to the bar with your girls and you just want to get a quick drink this will definitely work but if you're going out to an early dinner with bae this would work too or even like a lunch date this would be perfect so that is the first outfit Mm. 
The next two outfits are kind of honorable mentions because I styled these outfits for previous videos but I think they would work perfectly for a Valentine's Day outfit. These outfits are both from my mini skirt video that I uploaded a few uploads back. So I will put it up in the cards if you want to see that full video but I am going to add a clip of both of the outfits in this video. So the first one was just a pink oversized sweater with the black pleated mini skirt and some docks. This is perfect for like I'm going out for lunch with the girls or we're having a little Galentine's get together. I don't want to put on heels so let me just put on something really edgy but cute at the same time. I kept the pink sweater kind of over my skirt. Since it is very boxy and oversized I didn't want to tuck it in or anything. I like how it looked kind of coming over the skirt and the skirt being very short. I did wear tights with this so it's perfect for the cold weather and I just added my faux leather black jacket with it. I love the play on edge in this outfit. It's just so edgy and cool, but still relaxed. You don't have to feel really stuffy with heels and a lot of frou-frou. This is just, I'm chilling, I'm relaxing. I don't wanna do too much. I still wanna be cute. That should be a category of outfit. I don't wanna do too much, but I still wanna be cute. It really should be a category because I feel like I say that a lot. But anyway, the second one was with red. So I don't have a lot of red in my wardrobe, I, but I do have this little red bustier, so I knew I wanted to pair this with like a white oversized shirt. I paired it with a white button down shirt with really billowy oversized sleeves. I love the drama in the sleeves. Of course, that same little circle mini skirt and then I just added a pair of Western booties. Now, sometimes when I look at this outfit, it looks a little like I'm in the circus. Y'all know, I'm gonna I'm a put a picture up here. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The guy in the circus who kind of wrangles stuff together. Or maybe they're in the bull races. I'm gonna find a picture and put it up here. I also feel like very chic and fun in this outfit. It's either one extreme or the other with me, obviously. But again, I like the way this came together. It's very comfortable, but it's very fun and chic. And so I think I mentioned in prior videos, I'm really working on having fun with my wardrobe. Again, hence the little pink beret. Um, I really just wanna have fun with my wardrobe and feel good in what I'm wearing. Yeah, those are the two honorable mentions for the pink and the red category. So let's get into some non-pink and red outfits. This first one is a little outside of my comfort zone. I've never really worn a dress with a top up under it. So I really wanted to try something different. Satin dresses, they are timeless. They will never go out of style. And I feel like you can wear them all year round. I've had this one for a few years and I picked it up from Amazon. I love that it has a little tie so I can bring one side of it up and show a little bit more leg if I want to and make it really sexy. Or I can leave it flowy and have it as a midi dress that falls right below, below my knees. But I did pull the drawstring in this a little bit to give it a little bit of sex appeal. And then I put just a mesh top up under it. I've seen other girls do this before and I've just never tried it but I think I like this together. I absolutely love that the top of the dress is kind of asymmetrical. I just paired this with some gold heels. It's officially the time of year where I'm ready to wear my feet out again. Like it's not freezing cold anymore at least where I am in Alabama so I feel completely comfortable with wearing my toes out. Baby when it's zero degrees outside I need the feet put up. But now I feel comfortable so I just put on some gold heels with the gold accessories. I love the way this came together. Let's see the full outfit. All right y'all so here is the second look. I know I'm pretty much completely dressed but I have this satin little slip dress here. It actually comes with a drawstring so it can be a little bit asymmetrical and then I love how this top kind of goes down a little bit. I just put on a mesh top up under it because it's it's still winter time. I wouldn't feel completely comfortable just wearing this without something under it. Also the ruching is obviously good if you have a little postpartum going on like me. Child, the fact that I'm still saying postpartum two years later, um, but this is still postpartum, right? Anyway, this is the satin dress. So this goes for any satin or slip dress that you have, even if it's not asymmetrical. Satin and slip dresses are perfect date night options. They are just so classy and sexy. And if you don't have any kind of mesh top, you can always go for solid colored turtleneck or mock neck 
in a black or white color. So I have gold shoes on, but I think the gold is a good little touch. It's not too much with the brown and it's staying within the same color family. I'm also gonna just do my little gold bag here. The mini bag that I picked up from Shein a couple years ago. This is the perfect, like my man told me to get dressed and be ready at seven o'clock. And so that's what I did. I got dressed and I'm ready at seven o'clock. You see me. So yeah, it's a good little sexy number. You got a little leg out, you know. I feel like this is also good if you're going on a first date and some people may not agree with me, but if I were to go on a first date, hadn't been on a first date in ages, but I want to be a little bit sexy. And I feel like this is the perfect balance of like sexy and classy. I'm fully covered on the top, but I got a little leg out, got a little peekaboo. So you can see what I'm working with. And you can also see that I'm confident. I'm not afraid to show a little skin. So this is the second look. Okay, the next outfit is another dress. I feel like winter whites are so pretty and so timely and you just look very well put together and chic when you wear winter, winter whites so i paired a rib dress with just my white knee high boots and a statement coat when it comes to rib dresses and sweater dresses <clears throat> for me i always prefer very short or very long it's something about that knee length that just doesn't look right on my body um being more of mid-size having a smaller waist or a little bit of a pooch and broader hips i like to have i like to have dresses that almost go down to the floor or they are right under my booty crack i'm just saying um because it just helps to slim you out and you can better work with your proportions so this dress i picked up from pretty little thing i've had it for a while i love that it has a collar so it gives a little bit of a casual feel and this is what i would put in the category of like elevated casual i know we've been hearing elevated basic ele elevated casual a lot this is definitely an outfit that i would put in the elevated casual category very comfy i have on shapewear but it's not like restricting and i love the little slit in it again just giving little pops of skin here and there always works for me so let's see how it all came together all right so here's another dress i do know that this is short sleeves but some of us live in warmer environments so this is the time to layer if you don't i keep a good midi length maxi length dress on hand for times like this when I'm going on a date I don't want to do too much but I still want to feel girly and sexy and all of those things a sweater dress would also work in this case I think I want to keep it pretty neutral with a lot of creams I just have on a big pair of gold earrings and then I have on some bangles I went without the necklace because of the collar and because of the coat that I'm gonna put on with this so like I said I want to keep it pretty neutral with the creams so i'm gonna add my off-white boots i do want to note that this will also look great with a pair of snake print boots so if you don't have white or off-white you can always pull out your animal print pair of boots i love how the boot is just peeking through from under the dress it's something about a boot and a dress that i just love together i don't know what it is but I just love that combination. This one does have a split in it. So again, we get a little bit of leg, get a little bit of sex appeal. Accessories, I'm just gonna go for a cream clutch. So this is truly an all cream outfit. And then I'm gonna do my kind of orange shades. I think this shade of orange just looks good with lighter colors, whites, creams, all of that. So yeah, that is the base. And now to the coat. So for the coat, I'm just gonna put this tan coat with the fur detailing. I'm just gonna drape it across my shoulders. I do wish it was a little bit longer since the dress is so long, but I think that it still works. So this is the full look. Really like this together. Really like that I implemented the fur. It's giving rich auntie. So love that together. Love this combo. This is good for a day date or a date night. Of course, all of these looks can work for Galentine's. They are not reserved for a date with the opposite sex. If you're going out with your friends, you can also wear this. So don't think that these are reserved for just going out on a date with your man or your significant other. All right, so this outfit is probably one of my faves. I picked this black faux leather dress up from Amazon a couple of weeks ago for a birthday dinner and I had to feature it here because I feel like it's the perfect date night outfit. It's a tube top. Funny thing is, 
I did not used to wear tube tops at all. Any strapless, anything, I really didn't wear them. Or it is a strapless dress. It's faux leather and it's stretchy. The leather stretches. I've talked about this on my channel before. I have to have stretch in my clothing. I'm a mid-sized girl, I'm a curvy girl. I need stretch. <laughs> I picked this up from Amazon again. I picked it up in an extra large, but as I mentioned in the clip coming up, I feel like I could have gone down a size because it is so stretchy. I love that it comes all the way down to my ankles. So chic, so classic and timeless. I just paired it with some fun little furry heels and a printed bag. This is one of those outfits that's just like when you walk in the room you are turning heads, you're stopping the show. It speaks for itself. You don't have to do a lot with this dress. So yeah let's let me stop rambling and let's see how I put it together. A little black dress will literally never fail you. We should all have a little black dress in our closet if we don't let's go ahead and get one the thing about black dresses you can literally wear them over and over and over again and reinvent them every time so this dress is from amazon i got it recently to wear to a birthday dinner but i thought this would be the perfect valentine's date night dress it is so sexy y'all but beyond it being sexy it is so comfortable this dress is so comfortable it has good stretch in it. Now, I did get it in an extra large. It's a little bit big in the chest area for me. I probably could have did a large, and because it's so stretchy, it would have, you know, it wouldn't have had me looking like a sausage. But I did get it in an extra large. I don't have on much jewelry. I really want the dress to do all of the talking. I do have on just my little mini Bottega dupe earrings that I got from TJ Maxx, and then my little fur heels. I wanted this to be super like girly, grown woman. So the fur heels, the zebra print bag, it's just really fun, really girly, but still like I'm grown, baby. You can definitely do a long black coat with this, or you can just put on an oversized blazer. I'm gonna go for the oversized blazer. I'm just gonna drape it across my shoulders like so. And you just look so chic and put together and posh. I love this whole look. It's just, like I said, fun and girly, but it's still very grown woman. I just love this together. So yeah, I'll have this dress linked down below because I literally just got it about two weeks ago. That is how I would dress up a little black dress. Again, black dress, black heels, some kind of overcoat, and then do a statement bag. If you don't want to do a statement bag, just do all black. You really can't go wrong with all black. It's going to look good every time. The next outfit is a pants outfit. I feel like I had a lot of dresses and skirts in this video, so I wanted to put, get, put together another pant outfit. So this is with faux leather pants. Okay, so this outfit is with faux leather pants and a little lacy top. This is a very simple outfit to put together. You can never go wrong with all black. I feel like the lacy top just adds a little bit of sex appeal. I don't know why we're giving so much sex appeal in this video. I don't know. Maybe because it's the, the month of love and I don't know. But this is the perfect like I'm going out with my man or I'm going out with my girls. Because it's super sexy. It's subtle but still sexy. My little lacy top is from Amazon. I've had it a couple years. You can just look up little teddy bodysuits on Amazon. They pop right up and they're really affordable, usually $20 or less. Again, if you don't have any kind of lacy top or something, just a black body. Faux leather, I feel like everyone is into faux leather. And so whether they're, you know, a more spandex tight fit or they're a more wide leg fit or a jogger fit, honestly, faux leather is going to elevate your outfit every time. And then just wanted to have fun with it with the little print on the shoes so let's see how I put it all together all right y'all so this outfit is a little bit risque but I think we need one that's a little bit risque for the Valentine's Day season so I just have on a lacy little cami here and I have on some black leather pants I feel like if you don't have a lacy cami you should at least have like a black tank top Preferably spaghetti straps or a black bodysuit. You can even do like a high neck bodysuit and then a pair of faux leather pants. These are items that most of us 
I believe have in our closet. So I feel like Valentine's Day is a fun holiday. I always want to add like prints and stuff when it comes to Valentine's Day. So I'm going to do my zebra print boots. All right, so I have the boots on here. If you don't have any kind of printed boots, you can always just do black or you can even just do a black heel. So a simple stiletto, you can always do that as well. All right, so we're just going to add a coat with this. I remember when I used to watch Girlfriends, Joan was notorious for wearing a coat and like a sexy spaghetti strap, no sleeve top in the winter. And when I was younger, I always thought it was kind of strange, but now I get it. She's gonna take the coat off when she gets in, into the restaurant or the bar and usually it's warm enough you don't have to worry about having your coat on and if you end up getting cold you can just drape it across your shoulders i don't want to add any more attention to this area so i'm not going to put any jewelry or anything and have more eyes coming right here to this area i'm just going to keep it very simple the way it is because you know we have print we have texture skin so i don't want to add a lot to the outfit i'm just going to do my black furry bag we are in a texture overload right now but again i just want to have fun with it this is very easy to duplicate i know we get caught up in wearing pink or red for valentine's day but you actually don't always have to wear pink or red you can wear an all black fit baby it's just date night or girls night you can wear you know all black or any other color if you have made it to the end of the video thank you so much let me know what your favorite outfit was down below i do this in every video i think mine was surprisingly the slip dress just because it's different for me um i haven't really worn anything together like that before so the slip dress with the little mesh top up under it was my favorite for the video let me know what yours was down in the comment section if you have not hit that subscribe button go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you're notified when i upload any new videos we are working on our next milestone which is 250 subscribers i'm so excited to have you all here and to be growing our community we still need to come up with a name but we'll we'll get there like this video if you enjoy these kind of styling videos so I'll know what kind of content to put out. Share this video. Share this video with your friends, your mom, your sister, your aunt, whoever in your life enjoys fashion. Share this video with them. I could be pushed into the algorithm and reach more people on the platform. And as always, stay beautiful. I'll see you in the next video. Bye loves.